Now in this part of the uh, question, remember we're given that the first term is 30 for this arithmetic sequence and the common difference is minus 1.5. And now we're told that the rth term is equal to 0 and we've got to find the value of r. Well how are we going to do that? So what I discussed in part A was that if we had our arithmetic sequence like this, the nth term was given by a plus n minus 1d. So if we're looking at the rth term, that's when n equals r, we've got to put this equal to 0. So we'll start off then by saying that when n equals r and the rth term is equal to 0, what we'd have is a, which is 30, plus n minus 1, but n is r this time, so we have r minus 1, times the common difference d, which is minus 1.5, this has got to come to 0. So what we need to do now is just solve this for r. So if I multiply out the brackets here, what we've got is the 30 here, and then minus 1.5 times r is minus 1.5r, and then minus 1 times minus 1.5, that's going to be plus 1.5, that equals 0. So if I rearrange this by adding 1.5r to both sides and grouping together the 30 and the 1.5, I've got 31.5 equals 1.5r. Now dividing both sides by 1.5 gives r to be equal to 31.5 divided by 1.5. And to do this sum, remember without a calculator, we're not allowed calculators here, what I would do is times top and bottom by 2, just simply double that, so we'd have r equals 63 divided by 3, and 63 divided by 3 is very simply 21. Remember, r has got to be an integer, it doesn't say that, but I mean if you're looking at the rth term, then you'd expect to be looking at, you know, first, second, third, fourth, etc. We're looking at the 21th term. Alright, so r equals 21, and that brings us to the end of this part of the question.